Hey. Hey. How's it going? Hi. There's like feedback, right? Um, um, we have some other people on this call. We do? Where? Right down here, it says three people are on. Oh, it says Lindsay's phone and Lindsay Madrigal. Oh, that's you? LMDRS iPhone? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to mute it. See, isn't the audio better? Is the audio better? Yes or no? Oh, now you can't hear me. Oh, there we go. Let's do it. Is that better? Yeah. You hear that? So for those of you who don't know, things will be tough, right? really tough like this is Lindsay and I's like fifth time trying to get this thing going and we're doing it now nothing's going to come easy you have to work through it if you really want to do it right persevere my friends what what you're giving me like a crazy face because I'm here and I'm here I'm so confused what's going on here oh I don't know either but let's just leave it okay <laughs> oh, okay so you're hearing me through there <laughs> I'm hearing you through your phone but, I see um, you through your computer. It's all good, right? We're going to screen share and get this party started. Persevere. Get through. We got this. Yeah. <laughs> I told Scott, my like, clothes door, put your headphones in. <laughs> okay, let's screen share. I'm going to go to my desktop. A little loopy, a little tired, but we're doing this because we love you ladies. And here we go. Welcome to the challenge, my friends. I'm gonna put it and present. So we picked, I chose this picture. Um, I don't think I even asked Lindsay for permission because I'm just like mm, taking this picture. But it says, um, I think it says, let me see, we believe in each other and we believe in you. Because when Lindsay and I first started, it was like a small, we had a little private Facebook group going, it was like three or four girls, and we were just literally starting and I think I said this before but I'll say it again I was using like an illegal copy of t25 I think it was like a link or something and I was just powering through and I can't thank you enough Lindsay for being by my side every single moment of this whole journey so thank you thank you and I actually think it's pretty funny because we were talking before um and that um those groups that we started in were just like these challenge groups and we didn't even know. Like yeah. it was even before I started each body, you were just doing that video. Yeah. Um, I don't think you had started 21 day fix yet. And we were in a little accountability group and we had no idea what coaching was about. We had no idea what these programs were going to do for us in a few short months. And we had no idea that we'd be coaching and running groups just like that, but with more like 20, 30, 40, even 50 people. I think we've had, yeah. Actually, we had up to 200 in our free group. Oh, so mm -hmm. pretty mm -hmm. incredible. But um, I guess, do you want me to start with my introduction? Yeah, I think that's a perfect segue, okay. really. So let's meet, let's meet, let's meet your coaches, folks. Let's start with you, Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> so for those of, you, those of you who don't know me, my name is Lindsay. Um, I've lost 71 pounds, uh, 50 inches, and um about six dress sizes with beach body programs <laughs> mostly 21 day fix and the fix food plan i basically um like roller coaster dieted my whole life um from i mean i was pretty good in high school high school athlete it was mostly like when i hit college the freshman 15 and then it just every year was a few more and i would lose and gain and lose and gain and then after like a rough patch in life i put on a tremendous amount of weight I put on the 30 pounds I lost crash dieting for my wedding plus another 30 something pounds um, tried again just I just couldn't get 
anything to click. It was, you know, hours at the gym, depriving myself of food, not knowing how to get this little, like, bunch of things to work. Like, everybody says, oh, you just got to eat right, watch your portions, drink your water, exercise daily. Well, that's great, but that just doesn't work that easily for some reason. And again, I was back at the gym for hours and hours and doing paleo and this and that and just being, just starving every day. Not, um, not really losing weight the way I wanted, but I did like over the course of a year get like 30 pounds off. And sure enough, the next year I was almost up all of my weight. So um, that's when we started our little accountability group. And I heard about 21 Day Fix. Um, a friend of ours at the time was um, doing it and invited us, invited me. And I said, you know, um, three weeks doesn't sound so bad. I'm like, you know, I feel desperate right now for something that's going to work. I was so uncomfortable in my own skin. I just never felt that way before. I just, um, like, I just felt unhealthy. I, my clothes didn't fit. And I started to like see myself in pictures and not recognize myself. I was like, I don't even know who, like that picture right there, that was right after I turned 30. And I remember feeling like I couldn't breathe in the pants and I was sitting and I kept pulling on my shirt and I was just like, so uncomfortable and it wasn't until that point that few months after turning 30 I saw pictures and I was like who is that like I didn't even recognize myself so I was pretty desperate and I thought three weeks that's not bad we all want immediate gratification and it just doesn't happen you, you don't gain the weight overnight and you're not gonna lose it overnight but the fact that I can try something and possibly see and feel results in three weeks was pretty incredible so it was worth a shot and I did it to a T. I followed that fixed food plan to a T and did those workouts every single day. And I lost 10 pounds and 10 inches in my first round. And we all know how fast the week goes. So I had to do that three times and I saw what the results were and um, I just knew that this was gonna work. And then over time, just transforming inside it now, it was totally not just a physical transformation. We talk about that a lot. It was the mindset. It was the confidence. It was just feeling good from the inside, like the right foods, the shakes, and, and having those vitamins and nutrients that I never had before that I was probably lacking because I wasn't even eating enough food daily, never mind taking vitamins and all the other stuff. And it was just, it was just incredible. And then when people started asking, like, what are you doing? Like, why are you glowing? Like, how are you losing this much weight? And I was just raving about the products. And seeing how it felt to get to that point, I just felt like I have to help other women do this. Like my life's mission is to help other women, not just get to that result, but through that journey. Because it's not the result. It's not that goal weight. It's not that white dress. It's the journey to that accomplishment. Absolutely. That's why we're here. I, I like don't want to follow you. <laughs> You've done so amazing. And like the thing is, like, for those of you who don't know, Lindsay and I, we go back, like way back to like high school track and soccer days. And I've always admired her, you for your beauty, but you're also your sense of being so grounded and able to connect with people. So like I get like emotional just listening to your story because we've done this like side by side. Um, my story is kind of yeah, I can relate to it, but it's my own story. And I think that's why I love Lindsay because she's always respected me for that. Um, I've always struggled with my weight. My mom was a baker. My dad was a chef. So food was like a huge comfort. Um, my parents owned lots of businesses growing up. So I grew up in a restaurant and this sounds really sad, but we comforted with food. Like, so I've been eating my emotions since like I was really little. And then um, even growing up, like college, I was always heavier than everybody else, just a different build. And I would kind of joke, you know, and kind of like play off these body image issues that I was seriously having, but didn't have a healthy relationship with food. And I even remember way back into like elementary school doing like Richard Simmons with my mom because I was too big and my grandfather would make fun of me and it would kind of be like a, a laugh of the family um, because I loved food. <laughs> but um, over the course of my journey, I realized I was battling a lot more than just loving food. It was just a really unhealthy relationship with it. So anyway, long story short, um, 
my journey, I think, really started after having my second child, um, Sam, and um, I started doing the 21 Day Fix Extreme and had very similar r results to Lindsay. I think I lost like the same, the same exact. My numbers, ma my pounds matched my inches, and I was like, "This is what I want to do." And um, Lindsay and I were chatting before, and it's quite amazing that within a week of following this program and drinking your shake, you're going to feel a difference in your clothes. And I remember, and this might be a bad analogy, but feeling like an overstuffed sausage like in my clothes. So like when you're day seven and all of a sudden your jeans start to feel good, you're like, okay, I can deal with the soreness. I'm going to push through. And then the 21 days come and you're like, wow, I did that. What's next? So knowing 21 days is realistic is key, but that whole physical transformation that starts to happen clicks something emotionally. And that's what we're going to get to in here. For me, the transformation physically, you know, I've lost 56 pounds. It's more like 40 four right now but that's okay um i think it's it's more or less for me what's happened internally because like Lindsay said after getting results like this i was in such a bad place mentally that i i know i wanted to share this with as many people as i could possible this feeling of accomplishment this feeling of energy and power and just feeling strong again so we're going to walk you through on how to really maximize this group to get the results that each and every one of you have reached out to us for. Even though we have different goals, these groups are gonna help you tremendously. So I'm gonna go to the next slide. So here's some challenge group rules. And I think Lindsay, you're gonna start. Yes, so um, you, know, you have to remember this was a decision that you made to not just commit to this program, but to commit to yourself and your goals. So um, you have to follow the program promise yourself that you're going to give yourself at least at least the 21 days you're going to do the workout daily you're going to do the photos you're going to take your measurements you're going to do your fit tests and you're going to follow the nutrition because that's how you're going to succeed if you just do one of those or or two of those you're not going to have the results we can pretty much promise you like 99.8 percent maybe because you know you can't guarantee but that if you follow the plan and you do everything that is expected, you'll have results. You will have results. So if you're not having results, then you need to talk to your coach because we need to look at what you're doing wrong or need what, what you need to tweak. Maybe your nutrition is a little off. Maybe you think you're following the food plan, but you're really not tracking. So you're actually not eating enough or you're eating too much. Um, you have to drink your physiology <laughs> daily. This is not just something, this is not just a little like side thing that we sell to like get people to sign up with us. We drink them every day because they are important to our health. It's vitamins, it's nutrients, it's probiotics, it helps with digestion. I mean, the, the health benefits of this are endless. It's not actually a protein shake and it's going to help with your cravings. It's going to help with your energy level. It's going to help you lose weight. And it's going to help you maintain weight. That's why we continue drinking it. Um, you have to positively engage in the group. So tell yourself that you will do that. We get it. We were there. It's a little uncomfortable at first. There's people in there that you don't know. But what you have to remember is we're all here for the same reasons. We're all here because we need the accountability. We need the support. A lot of us don't have time to go drive to the gym, to stay at the gym, to leave our families. It's so much easier to just push play and do that 30 minutes in the comfort of your own home. But sometimes you need that motivation. You need that support. You need to hear that someone else had a bad day and it's okay because tomorrow we're moving on. That's it, it's behind us. And that's what these groups are for. But I can tell you, if you don't engage in them, you don't post, you don't share, you don't connect, with other people in the group it's it's gonna work against you because if you're not holding yourself accountable we can't help hold you accountable and it's like if you're not telling us that you had a bad day and you didn't follow the nutrition you didn't push play we can't help pick you up from that so it's almost like you're you're working against yourself really um we do not want you to overtrain 
you have a program that's specifically designed for what your goals are. So whether you're doing weightlifting, you're doing fun one day fix, you're doing a cardio program, the professionals develop these. We're just here to help you get through it. You don't want to be overtraining and doing a whole bunch of other things. Follow the program and the guide that they suggest. That's how you're gonna get the results. If it requires a rest day or it requires an active recovery day, do it. They're there for a reason. They know what they're doing, trust me, and they know how to get you the results that you want. Um, also share your physical results. Um, we talked a little bit about this in the group already. We understand that it's, um, it's uncomfortable. This is a small private group setting. It's a no judgment zone. And it's exciting to share those those victories, even if they're non-scale victories, feeling that your the waistband of your pants are a little looser or um, you know, noticing that you have a little bicep forming in just a few weeks, there's a little definition there. Like snap a picture, show us, share us, um, share with us these accomplishments and um, it, it will it will give you confidence to hear from other people, to have other people supporting you and um, you know, keeping you going on your journey. And it's just a place for all of us to inspire one another and motivate one another and cheer each other on. So don't hold back, share, engage, stick to the program, do what you're supposed to do, drink your shakes, eat all your colors, and you'll have results. <laughs> so we're just gonna expand on that a little bit. So I will share my emotional and social results. There are so many times where I think as women, if someone says, hey, you know what, you look good. We're like, oh, well, you know, I really don't like this outfit. or But you need to learn how to accept that because over the next 21 days, you're going to feel the difference and it, internally and it's going to start to show. So along the way, you will experience life changes on more than just a physical level. So Lindsay talked about like what you're going to see. I'm talking about what you're going to feel and people are going to notice that. So we want you to share that as well with the group. Number seven says, together we are stronger, and I will finish. You are going to start, and you will finish. Lindsay and I have made this a goal of ours to take every single challenger to get them to go from, from their start day to their end day, because we know what that feels like to accomplish a program. So that is your goal, from start to finish. That is your goal. So, and last it says, I will pay it forward. The changes begin with me, and along the path, there's going to be people who ask, or my who, who need, and naturally that conversation comes up where they want to know what you're doing, and the biggest thing I can tell you is just share your own experiences, but listen to them, because you're going to start to hear your own voice within them, and every time Lindsay and I talk to someone, it helps us reconnect to why we became coaches and why we started our journey. And you'll start to hear a lot of people come to you and start sharing because they feel the same way you did right now at the beginning of your journey. Um, what each day looks like. There's daily development. And Lindsay and I were talking about sharing our own daily development. We call it our personal development. But it's really important that you focus on not just you know, your nutrition and your fitness. Our goal is to kind of help you transform or not necessarily transform, but to help you really connect um, to the best possible version of yourself. And in order to do that, you have to kind of dig deep. And Lindsay and I will post assignments to help you do that, but to kind of reflect on why. And I didn't make the connections to what was going on in my childhood, to my healthy and relationship, or with my unhealthy relationship with food until much later. And that was because of personal development. So if it's something, if you're struggling with, like for me, emotional eating, I believe me, I have plenty of resources that I'd love to share. But you need to kind of be real with yourself and say, okay, how do I tackle this? And there's great podcasts, and there's great YouTube videos, and there's even great books on it. But if you're struggling with time management as a mother and trying to get everything done, there's PD books on that too. And we're going to help you, but we want you to try to think of this as more as an overall whole body transformation from the inside out. I'm kind of rambling here, but... Um, Lindsay, you want to talk about that? Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, so, um, all right, so it might be overwhelming if you're not used to challenge groups, but they, there are so many resources in here, and it's just incredible that we have this opportunity because I feel like a lot of the, a lot of the reasons why um, people fail 
even the people who say like, oh, I like to go to the gym. I have to leave my house. But eventually it's inconvenient. It's hard. The weather is bad. It's cold. It's early. It's dark. Those things that are excuses, they're real. And that's what keeps us from getting to the gym. So having something- We have a tendency to do that even when you're home. Like you'll want to sleep through a workout. Like all those things, these groups- will keep you accountable. You're going to see other people out there who are just as crazy or even crazy busier than yourself doing it. And that's when you need to have that real, you need to check in. You need to check in with the group. Don't you, don't you feel like it almost makes it like harder to have an excuse because it's oh, like, well, I don't have an excuse because it's only 30 minutes and it's right in my living room. So yeah. how could I say in my group that I didn't get it done? Like I felt like that was part of the reason I pushed through those those times that, you know, I wanted to give up. I was like, everybody else did it today and it's 30 minutes. Like, yeah, I'm tired. It was a long day. I worked both jobs, but it's 30 minutes. And then yeah. I get to go in the group and share that I did it too. Yeah. And you feel like when you're in this kind of small group setting, like you're not just showing up for yourself. You're showing up for everyone else. Like there's someone else in that group maybe that needs to see that you did it. You never know who's connecting with you. People in these groups, they've never met and they, you just can inspire someone else to push through. So we check in daily, as you already probably know from previous groups or what you're seeing already. Um, you know, we'll um, be checking in daily, posting some assignments. We really, we try not to give you a lot of like work because we know everyone's busy and not everyone's like as active on social media as we are. It's part of our job. So we're on there daily whenever we get a chance. Um, but we understand that life is busy. Uh, however, this is a commitment. This is part of your, your sign on enrollment with us to this new journey to, to better health. We're investing a lot in here and we just ask for a little bit of feedback, a little bit of participation when we do give you some sort of assignment. And usually it's to get you thinking, usually it's to get you reflecting and doing that work from the inside. So post and engage and know that it's benefiting you and that's why we're doing it um aim for maybe a, a am and pm post like maybe if you do your workout in the morning just share you know selfie a screenshot of your tv your computer like something it doesn't have to be long and in depth like some of ours are um that's how we choose to do it to share so much with you guys but just even share how you feel like i got my workout on that i feel so energetic i feel so accomplished um maybe one at the end of the day that you're checking in with your accountability. How was your food for the day? What did you struggle with? Don't even really feel like you have to put the highlights. Like if you had a bad day, just, you know, mention it. Say, you know, I was so great. And then at dinner, I can't even have a slice of pizza. It happens to all of us. It's one day and tomorrow's another day. Don't beat yourself over it, you know, over, uh, up over it. Um, you can choose to share these posts however you want, whether you want to do a quick collage, just, you know, a selfie or a picture, um, uh, maybe the scale, drop a few pounds on the scale, you want to show side by sides of your scale, your bicep picture, whatever you're comfortable with, but know that if you're posting, you're giving something, something to the group, you're supporting what we're doing, you're supporting what other women in the group are doing, and it's just how this, the energy and the vibe is good when everybody's, you know, participating, we appreciate it and other people do too. Absolutely. So let me show you how to navigate. So I'm going to skip out of here. The computer's a little slow, so just bear with us. So what I have here is my Facebook page. And I just went into groups. Now on the left-hand side column, you can do this. And I know some of you are checking in from your phone, but there is a difference when you check in with your computer, and I'll show you why. So typically in the discussions is where Lindsay and I will be posting. Um, and that's where you'll see everyone else too. And there's usually the post for the days might get lost from everyone else who's posting. So if we post an assignment, um, for instance, um, I posted this. The one thing that has really helped me, helped me be able to stay on track with my workout is to keep physical notes. And then down here at the end, I'm not going to read it out to you is something like comment below with how you'll be keeping track. So right below, good job, Tara. She commented. And that's where we want you to kind of fill in with your assignments, okay, right underneath, unless you're just checking in. And Sonata, can I just, um, yeah. 
because someone had questioned it just like if you notice like on the top left it says secret group and if people are on their phones at the top uh yeah. search bar it does say the name of our group which ensures that they're posting only in this private group and no one else on facebook is going to see it if there's mutual friends within the group you may see it on your news feed that sonata posted to this shamrock shamrock and body but that's because you are friends and you're both in the same group but know that if you're on your phone or your laptop as long as you're inside this group almost like it's a classroom anything you post or share is private only like no one can find this group it's secret so even if they search the name they exactly won't find it. exactly thank you and then um, the other part, discussion, you want to go to um, files is the other tab you can click on. This is where Lindsay and I have uploaded some files that we thought were really helpful. So here's all the rules that we were going over. And if you notice, they're PD, or PDFs, which means they probably won't open from your phone, depending on what kind of phone you have. You have to do it from your computer. Um, this is a really good one, how to prepare your, uh, your, your mind and your body. I think there's a pantry one, too. Yeah, that's it. My is body it? and pantry. Oh, yep. There it is. Yep. Sorry. I had to read it all way. And then there's your challenge commitment, um, which we ask you to sign. I ask you to print it out and sign it and read through it because it's really a commitment not only to myself and the group or your coach, it's a commitment to yourself. So that's something you want to look at. But otherwise, it's pretty easy. The last thing I wanted to show you was in the photo section, we have not uploaded anything yet because I wanted to show you this. We can create your, you can create your own album with your name, so that way if you wanted to do your transformation pictures or when you upload your photos of your workout, it's gonna go into your album. So if you wanted to use those pictures again to create a side of before and after, then you have them there. We'll be creating um, a resources, a meal, a meal plan one, and then just like little um, cheat sheets. So three different albums that will be up there just to kind of help you um, later this week. So those are some things we wanted you to look at. Otherwise, if you need help navigating, let us know. So let me go to view, make this a little bit bigger for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Just a sec, my slow computer. <laughs> so just to um you know kind of i know we keep saying this but it's just so important it's basically like like anything in life it doesn't matter if someone gave you a magic pill or a magic potion if you didn't drink it, it's not going to work. And that's kind of how they, uh, to us, to me, with how much I struggled in my life, like from 18 years old to 30, 31 or 32 almost, when, when I, I found this, like, this is like the magic shake, magic diet, mag like, I don't feel deprived. I'm never hungry. I, I mean, I could go on and on, but like, this is what I needed. It's not for everybody. Maybe it doesn't work for everybody. Um, but for me, I was never an at-home fitness kind of person. And I don't know if it's because of the social media and the coaching that makes it fun. Like you still get to dress cute and like do your videos and inspire people. Um, I mean, I'm sure that's part of it, but I mean, just the thought of like, when I have a family, like I don't have to get up at five o'clock in the morning sit in the freezing cold car, drive to the gym, and, like, almost talk myself out of it every day. Like, all I have to do is motivate myself enough to get up, push play, and do, like, 30, 40 minutes top, sometimes even 22 and 25, and it's, like, and, like, seeing, like, Sonata and all the other moms that we work with, like, the kids watching, and, like, my nieces, they're, like, beach body. Like, they know about what I do, and they jump in and just – on vacations, like started doing country heat or like ab workouts. And it's like, my, like, those are my babies right now. And I'm like, just to think when I'm a mom, like I'm gonna set this example for my kids. They're gonna eat healthy. They're gonna watch me take care of myself. They're gonna hear me talk about myself. Like I love myself, not like I hate myself. Like I used to, like this is equivalent to magic for me. But again, 
we can give it to you. Anybody can hand you anything. That's the perfect opportunity. If you don't take it and run, it's, it's lost. So it's up to you now. You could, you've said you wanted to change, just like Beach Body says, decide, commit. You got 10 minutes. Succeed. And that's exactly right. You've decided you wanted to change. You wanted a better life. You want to be healthier for you, for your family, for your kids. You want to fill your cup first so you can better take care of those around you. Now you have the tools and now you have to take action. That's what you're doing here in this group. You have a group full of resources, two coaches that care a great deal about your success. I think anybody in this group knows that that's what we are, we're here for. We're here because we want other people to succeed. We're not here for numbers, for sales, for just building our business. We're genuinely here first because we want to help other people reach their goals, their best self, and live healthy and fulfilling lives. We have one life. We go through this round one time. So we can wait till we're 50 and regret not starting now, or wait till we're 80 and regret that we didn't do when we're 50. Depending on your age, I'm just glad that I started now. And I have that many more extra years of a lifestyle like this. So tap into the group, stay engaged, give yourself this month. Even if you, if you let those doubts creep in or you have that fear that like, just get rid of it. Just stop. Don't even think about the doubt or the fear because you're setting yourself up for failure. So you've decided. You've committed because you're here. Now take action and do it and see that you can succeed. We're nothing special. We're two girls that wanted to lose weight, had, a, had tools and a program that worked, and just didn't give up. And that can be anyone else in this group. So you have questions, feel free to reach out to us. Ask in the group. We both work full-time. Sonata has kids. She's always on the go. I have several jobs. Sometimes if you ask in the group, you might get an immediate answer because there's moms that are home during the day, moms that are working from home maybe, people that work nights. You never know. Someone might be there to help you out immediately. So ask in the group. It's such an amazing opportunity that we have here. A bunch of just amazing women just helping each other out. And we have so many repeating challengers too that I think are experts. You know, like there's so many people in here that can bring something to the table. And I love this image. And Lindsay, I know it sounds crazy, but like the future is in your hands right now, folks. Like what you want, what, what, how you want to feel is in your hands. You are the person you want to be. You, if you can, if you have that dream inside you, you need to take those actions to get you there. What you do today will get you run where you want to be tomorrow. In two weeks, in four weeks, you have to act that way. And you have everything literally at the touch of your fingertips. You probably have your challenge pack, your Shakeology. You got your group. You got your coaches. Reach out to us. So I love this quote. I use it a lot for my coaches. But it said, you always had the power, my dear. You just had to learn it for yourself. And every single time I talk to one of my challengers or someone who's thinking about joining, it's almost like you can see them, their before and their after, because you know that they can do it. And when Lindsay says, like, it's like that magic pill, if we could fast forward through the next 21 days knowing that you're going to commit to this, oh, like, this is it. This is it. And you can do it. So with that said, I think we're like cutting it close on time. There's about six minutes left. Um, we just want to say thanks for listening. To... Yeah, go ahead, Lynn. So I was just going to say maybe we could just give them a little, um, you know, what's to come. I think we're going to really just focus on um, the nutrition and preparing for Monday when we start our real challenge. And it's like... <laughs> That's it. Game face on. Yeah. Um, kick marches butt. But um, and then also I think we're gonna start just um, like establishing our why and some of our goals, short term and long term, because that's really important. If you don't have, you know, your mindset on those goals, it's you know, like on paper, like really. And we'll get into that. We will get into that.
cool. So here we go. If you have any questions um, for the start date, make sure you're posting them to the group. And there's not no such thing as a bad question. You can ask and we are there to answer or someone else will jump on the opportunity too. So congratulations for making a commitment to yourself. And we're here's, excited. I know, and here's to the next 28 days I think we're going, starting officially starting on Monday. And we will help you and walk you through every step from like how to prepare for those early morning workouts to what exactly you'll need in terms of equipment. And um, I swear, Lindsay is like the master meal prepper planner. So we're going to, and a fantastic cook. Me, I'm like a quick fix it kind of a girl. So we're going to share everything we know that has worked for us and how to make it work in our crazy busy lives and bring it right to you. So with that said, we love you guys and we know that you are capable of wonderful and great things and it all starts with you. So bye guys. Bye. Bye. Oh, Thanks for watching. Thanks. We'll stop the video. Put it in the end. And it's moving.